Hello! Again, I'm sorta of back. As in, I'm not gonna be doing weekly vlogs, I'm gonna be doing a monthly unboxing of Arcade Luck. Now, for those of you who do not know, because I wasn't aware of this until I decided to subscribe, uh, Arcade Block is a subsidiary of Nerd Block. They also feature Horror Block. Um, Arcade Block is a monthly mystery box full of video game products for all your gaming, I don't want to say gaming needs, but gaming interests. Um, now, uh, when initially subscribing to Arcade Block, you have the option of, uh, doing a monthly payment of $19.99, uh, including tax and shipping and handling that costs about $29 and change. Um, just recently, I believe last month, they launched their three-month subscription, as well as the yearly subscription. Now, the yearly subscription is relatively cheap. It's $15.99 a month plus shipping and handling. However, if you decide to subscribe for the yearly subscription, when you subscribe, they take out the lump sum of the year, as opposed to doing a monthly payment. If you decide to go with the monthly $19.99 block, but then randomly decide, hey, I'm going to go and just subscribe for the whole year, you have to unsubscribe your current subscription and then resubscribe with a new one of your choice. Um, now, also with Arcade Block, this is kind of freaking me out a little bit. Uh, when you first initially subscribe, they do tell you to choose three of your primary gaming devices at first. I freaked out because I have practically everything under the sun right now with the exception of a PlayStation 4 and a Wii U. Uh, however, the three that you decide to choose have zero effect on the contents of your box. So they ask you that uh, so that when they do receive deals or discounts or news regarding games for said gaming device, you receive emails and notifications of this. So no worries. Pick any three that you have that you want to just receive more information about. Um, also, with Arcade Block which is standard, uh, you do receive a t-shirt every month. So when you do choose your shirt, the size also will determine how much it's going to be costing you. Like I have a, I subscribed with a medium sized t-shirt, which is why mine is about 29 and change. But if you go for say a extra large or a 2XL, it might be a little bit more money. So just definitely keep that in mind so that I didn't misquote you or anything like that. And um, Yeah, I'm fully aware also that there are tons of unboxing videos on YouTube. But I know me personally, I never watched any of them until I decided I wanted to subscribe myself to Arcade Block. Because I wanted to see what kind of contents were in the box at first, if it was going to be worth my money or not. So that is the primary reason why I'm doing an unboxing video, because some of you guys might be interested, but don't necessarily want to go searching around YouTube for a bunch of unboxings. And I'm fun and I have blue hair, so mine differs. <laughs> not only that, but uh, I'm currently in association with video game podcast, How Do I Jump? So now that I'm receiving a video game box, I figured it would be actually quite nice to give some extra content to those listeners, as well as finally give a video to people that have subscribed to my blog for, like, ever. Alright, now the box itself. Uh, out of all of the boxes that I have seen from monthly subscriptions, from Loot Crate to Arcade to, I'm sorry, to Nerd Block to Horror Block, Arcade Block is definitely the most pleasing to the eye. It comes like an old-school NES console. So it is definitely pleasing to look at because you know what's inside of it, technically. Um, not only that, but since it is an old school NES, ooh, everything's moving. Since it is an old school NES box, keeping it is an option. Like, I know I'm going to be keeping this box and I'm going to be putting it on my gaming shelf and I'm going to put inside of it all the extra HDMI, wire, HDMI wires I just have laying around, as well as spare controllers. Maybe even my NES cartridges, because I still have all those neatly put away, but it would just only be appropriate to put them in an NES-styled box. Now the inside of the box. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Alright, we have a Tetris notebook. 140-page notebook with seven colored sections. There's the notebook. Now when you open it, you see all the little tabs here, so when you actually open it, like the pages are going to be sized like that, it's going to be a little difficult to write in, but for little notes it's cute, and 
If anyone knows the game like I do, seeing all those lined up the way they are means you just lost. <laughs> we also have Retro Genesis Classic Button Patch. And I know it's not the 80s, so we're not going to be putting these on denim jackets or whatever. However, buttons are a nice little neat accessory to put on lanyards if you need a lanyard for work or even the ones you just get from Comic-Con. Nice to decorate and accessorize. We have a set of Playful Gorilla Gaming Stickers, which are really warped versions of characters. <laughs> See, here we have Big Daddy. No, Big Daddy from Bioshock. We have, how can I say this? Sub, we have Scorpion, we have Sub-Zero, we have Link, Star Fox, and a very, there we go, a very disturbing little big planet. That... He looks quite sinister in that. That's a little creepy. <laughs> An otherwise cute character is now disturbing to me. We have a Mega Bloks Halo set. This is the Rapid Attack Covenant Ghost. Inside the box, you the characters you receive are the UNSC Spartan Recruit and the Covenant Elite Zealot. Now, I have children, so I can definitely tell you that Mega blocks are so much better than Lego. Not just in terms of not in terms of content, because as we all know, Lego's got like everything franchise and that's fucking awesome. But in terms of building sets, Mega Blocks, their their blocks actually stick together to the point where it is damn near impossible to take them apart. So while you're building it, don't fuck up. This is a good thing because as any other parent will tell you, stepping on loose Legos is like death. There's no other feeling in the world for that. Uh, now, we're not big Halo players. However, I know my son's going to like this because he does know of the characters. And he'll probably just put them with his Lego Star Wars sets, which is absolutely fine. What I like about Mega Bloks is that they do have a lot of gaming franchises. Other than Halo, I believe they do have Call of Duty. I know they have Assassin's Creed because... They're so cute, and we already have an Assassin's Creed Ezio set with the Borgia Tower. My son loves watching me play that game. We have Plants vs. Zombies Time Apocalypse graphic novel provided by Dark Horse Comics. This is probably also going to go to my sons because they already have the previous Plants vs. Zombies graphic novel. These are adorable. Oh, look, there's Crazy Dave. Loved Crazy Dave in the game. And now the t-shirts. This is a Donkey Kong shirt. That simply says, they see me rolling, they hatin'. Now if you've played Donkey Kong on the NES, you'll totally get it. Many, many a frustrating time at the arcade or at home jumping over frickin' barrels. Trying to catch that one chick who just should've stayed with him. Also inside the box, at the very bottom of the box, no less, they always give you a postcard telling you the contents that are inside your box. Uh, some of the stuff that they do give you um, were randomly chosen. For example, last month, I believe it was, they gave Mario or Luigi plushes. So if you received Luigi, then in the postcard it would tell you that you had, that there were two out there, you got lucky with this one. It gives you, and it, it more so lets you know that way... Um, if you're interested in getting the other, you know what it looks like, I suppose. This one is basically telling you that, uh, the color of your t-shirt varies depending on size availability. Like, I have gray, the other two options were black or navy blue. That's really it. What I love about the arcade block shirts is they're always cute little mashup ones. And not only that, but they're shirts you really can't get anywhere else. Kind of like T-Fury, I believe it is where they have the one-day sale on a specific design, and if you don't get it that day, you're fucked. Same thing with these. And as, as you see, I'm a sucker for mashup shirts. Uh, there is still time to subscribe to the February arcade block. Um, like I said, they charge on the 10th. All boxes are shipped on the 25th of the month. Now, they come from Canada, so it takes about, I would say, a week to arrive at your door. Mine would have been here sooner if my mailman wanted to deliver it during the snow, but he didn't, so I got it a little late. But, but yeah, it, it's standard. Tenth of every month is a charge fee. 
25th of the month, it's always shipped out. So there's always at least a guarantee that you know when it happens. They also send it to you via email stating that things were shipped and they give you tracking information as well. Um, February's arcade block has already been announced. It is going to be a Legend of Zelda block. I've been a diehard Legend of Zelda fan since the days of NES. Without Legend of Zelda, I wouldn't be gaming right now. So it excites me to know that the whole box, well, a majority of the box is going to be Legend of Zelda based. Uh, they have said it's going to be a little bit of Majora's Mask stuff, Phantom Hourglass. So who knows? Maybe a figure, maybe. I mean, there's so many possibilities because there is a plethora of uh, Legend of Zelda products out there in the world. Uh, fingers crossed for the freaking Toon Link Amiibo, because that's hard to find right now, but y you never know. It it's a mystery. Uh, in the meantime, uh, for other video game news, if you want to hear me babble about it, as well as others, every Wednesday, the weekly jump for How Do I Jump is posted on their website, as well as iTunes and Stitcher Radio, and every Friday is interviews with indie developers of games. You can check that out at hd1jump.com. Uh, the Twitter handle is hd1jump, as well as Facebook, www.facebook.com slash hd1jump. <laughs> uh, they also have launched a Redbubble store. If you would like the How Do I Jump logo on a t-shirt or a tote bag of anything, you're a choice, check them out at redbubble.com. In fact, I love Redbubble. I, I really do. All of my shirts are practically from Redbubble. The one I'm wearing right now, Hello Clicky, it is a Hello Kitty and Clicker of The Last of Us mashup shirt, has been provided to you by Redbubble.com. Uh, you can subscribe to this channel if you like for the monthly unboxing videos. Uh, you can check me out on Facebook.com slash FoxyFoxy, and you can check out my blog at VivaFoxyFoxy.blogspot.com. I write about everything under the sun, now also featuring some video game stuff. So if you want to read about me babbling instead of watching me babble, please go ahead and do that. In the meantime, I will see you guys next month. Bye.